This is an ARBCOM satellite, 137.440. It's for uh, mobile communications. This one is ARBCOM FM30. And it's crossing over uh, Montreal right now. So you hear like this harsh um, digital signal and if I go across and uh, beyond you'll see that for example it's S5 right now and you'll see that I'm moving out or in onto the signal. There is a uh, software called, I believe, ARPCOM Plotter or ARPCOM Decoder. I can't remember exactly. Uh, it's a paid software, but it has a, a two-week trial or a month trial, something like that, in which you can inject this signal. And uh, basically, you won't decode anything except that this satellite sends through this data its identification regularly. So it just pops up on the screen, oh, you're listening to ARPCOM FM30 or ARPCOM FM76 or so it gives you an idea of which one because sometimes uh, there are a lot of ARPCOM satellites on orbit and it does happen sometimes that you've got three, four, five different ARPCOM satellites. So, you know, when that happens, uh, it's pinpointing which one you're listening to. So you can look, of course, at ARPCOM frequency lists on the web. But uh, that software is cool because it does give you, you know, the ID immediately of what ORPCOM satellite it is. Once again, nothing to the code except for the ID if you take the software. But it is cool to just know that you're listening to, uh, you know, another type of satellite in Earth orbit with a uh, receiver, a little scanner radio. As you see here, there was a drop, instant drop in signal. That does happen on some ARPCOMs, but if you usually keep the frequency tuned, uh, in general, you will see at some point after several seconds to a minute, most of the time, the signal suddenly drops back in. Uh, it also happens, I believe, that sometimes they are turned off so as not to interfere with MIDI, uh, some other ARPCOM satellites, so all depends on what they are doing exactly but sometimes I think they are turned off so not to um, interfere with another ARPCOM that is on the same frequency that would be crossing at the same time um, because that would be of course uh, not very good. So ARPCOM satellites are usually found throughout the spectrum of 137 to 138. Now this what you're hearing here is a NOAA weather satellite We have just to tune around, and uh, it's easy. When, this, when they're, the pass is good, in general, you get a really good 
really good signal out of the Orcom satellites. So I hope you enjoy these videos. Tonight it's uh, satellite night for me, Friday, as I was talking about satellite uh, reception on uh, the uh, live show. And uh, so I decided to post a few videos of examples of what you can hear.